Good morning everybody, it's uh, ten past nine in the morning, I've only just got up out of bed. I don't usually get up this late, but this morning I'm absolutely shattered, as you might be able to tell by my red, sore looking eyes and bags under my eyes. Not looking so good. <coughs> Sorry if I've put you off your breakfast or dinner. Um, obviously problems again with the neighbour last night banging and crashing around all night got into bed at well I actually got into bed at 8 o'clock last night because I was so tired I spent the previous night at my mum and dad's house just to get some sleep and I had a wonderful sleep but I was still tired so I went to bed at 8 o'clock last night hoping to get some sleep um, but you know there was no chance of that I'd sort of at about 10 o'clock I put my laptop on and was watching YouTube videos because it was completely pointless trying to get to sleep with the noise <clears throat> switched my laptop off at about midnight last time I looked at my clock it was about half past midnight so I must have drifted off to sleep shortly after that um, and then four o'clock dead on dead on four o'clock this morning because I had my phone by the bed and whatever Ugh. dead on four o'clock this morning <coughs> he started up I, I don't know what it is it's it's some sort of motor or engine or generator or something that makes a hell of a noise that started up at four o'clock just thud 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 and it gets faster and it slows down and it gets faster and it slows down so that woke me up at four o'clock and that went on for quite a while and I couldn't get back to sleep after that I think I must have drifted off to sleep maybe half six seven and then my alarm went off at eight um, and then I just sort of just so tired I just drifted in and out of sleep until nine o'clock and I thought well at nine o'clock I need to get out of bed and get moving because um, I've got to uh, produce a CV and covering letters and get out there and try and find myself a job um, which is proving to be a real pain because I'm absolutely shattered and when you looking for a job is never a very nice experience anyway because it's you know you go for jobs and you get turned down and it it you know makes you feel bad <coughs> but you know I'm looking for looking for jobs whilst at the same time desperately trying to keep my eyes open and if you're going to go for an interview and you walk into the interview looking all exhausted and haggard that doesn't exactly make a good impression anyway I spy I had a phone call yesterday from another lady at the council she's going to send a letter uh, a package to me where I'm going to log all the noise she's also going to send a letter to him today um, saying that there's been a complaint and that he's getting a formal warning the thing that made me laugh a little bit is the lady said um, we won't tell him in the letter um, who made the complaint for your own safety <laughs> which you know I had to sort of laugh at because he's I think he might just know who made the complaint seeing as I've already been up there and had a chat with him about the noise she did say that the you know the police she's been in touch with the police they've got a file on him they know that he's he's an unpleasant person so if he reacts in any way at all to receiving the letter which of course I'm expecting him to then I should just call the police even even if he's not threatening and aggressive she said just call the police because they know him they'll come out they'll have a chat with him and, and you know again that'll go on a file so yeah just a just an update um, I actually as I was getting out of bed I actually heard his alarm going off so he's up and about so I'm expecting the noise to start any minute but there doesn't seem to be much the council can do so I'm not holding out a great deal of hope um, it's, it's a process that could take months and months and months and at the end of those months there's no guarantee that they're actually going to do anything anyway so but anyway, I just thought I'd give you that update. I'm getting wonderful messages and comments of support on my videos, so thank you very much. Um, I think I might 
you know, when I've done what I need to do today, I might call up my parents and see if I can stay there again tonight. But there's tomorrow is going to be the day where I'm going to be out and about <coughs> signing up to job agencies and stuff. So I really, really need a good night's sleep and a, you know, have a nice shower and a shave and good night's sleep and refresh myself ready for tomorrow's battle to find a job. Um, so thank you for all your support. I'll keep you updated. Again, I'm so sorry if you're waiting for coffee detox videos. They are ready. It's just I'm just so tired and so preoccupied with, with this situation that um, I haven't put them up yet. So thank you very much. I'll see you all again very soon, if I'm still awake, of course. <laughs>